Pokemon's newest set, Obsidian Flames, is, well, not really doing so well. So if you're thinking of maybe buying a booster box or an ETB, this video may have you thinking otherwise and provide a cheaper alternative to what you really want. With that all being said, let's get to the video. So the booster box is definitely the most expensive item when it comes to buying Pokemon product, simply because it's the best bang for your buck and it gets those pack prices really, really low. And right now, the Obsidian Flames price for a booster box is around 107, which to me, any booster box at around that $110, $115 mark and under is definitely a steal and a buy from me. So let's be honest, the top three chase cards are the three Charizards. And the rest of the cards are beautiful in this set, don't get me wrong, but they simply do not have that high dollar value that the top three Charizards have. So we're gonna start with the biggest Charizard in the set and that's going to be the Charizard EX and that is going for $90. And from TCG's pull rate data, it isn't that easy to pull at around 230 packs that you have to open in order to uh, obtain this card. And the chances of you pulling the number one Charizard and maybe one of the silver or gold Charizard full arts are slim to none. Not impossible, but still slim. And let's just say for a conversation that you aren't a fan of that uh, big, beautiful, uh, terrestrialized Charizard EX and that you want either one or both of the uh, silver and gold Charizards, well, these cards are going to set you back at around 70 bucks, which is pretty insane. And I say that because that's a great deal for the number two and number three biggest cards of a set. So what's my advice for the set if you're looking to buy a booster box? I'd say first to identify what uh, type of collector you are. Are you an investor? Are you a buyer to just have fun? If you're like me, you're kind of a mixed between a sealed investor and a Pokemon just purist collector. Uh, if I'm gonna just buy a booster box to pop open and crack some packs, I'd say go for it. I think this set is really fun to open. I think the artwork is phenomenal from the commons to the reverse hollows. And yeah, there's not tons to chase for, but I think there's enough to satisfy almost any Pokemon collector. And if you're a sealed investor, I think that at the $110 mark and under, these are a buy. I think you get a case for pretty cheap. And in my personal opinion, I think that these booster boxes are going to get a little bit cheaper. Not much, but a little bit cheaper. So if you're really wanting to penny pinch, then yeah, wait. But at this price, I don't think you can go wrong. As a sealed investment, I think these are going to do great over time. Any Charizard set is going to do well over time. Let's, let's be real. And besides the three Charizard cards that I named on this list, it does have a lot of beautiful supporters like the Cleffa, the Full Art Tyranitar is also one of my favorites, and the Ninetales, can't forget about that Ninetales. I personally love this set, and I really encourage you all to just crack open a booster box and just enjoy every single card for the beautiful art. And I think a more affordable alternative to opening a booster box would just to go grab an ETB. Um, I know the ETBs right now on TCG Player you can get for around 45 bucks, 40 bucks, but these are always the first to go on sale and you could snag one for about 35 bucks, probably in like two, three months. The ETB does come with that beautiful Charmander card, which is super cute. He's just like plotting in the window, waiting to attack that little Pidgey in the mirror. So if you just wanna, you know, dabble around, get those, I think it has like 10 packs in there in the ETB, open those up, get the promo, call it a day. If you don't pull the Charizard, oh well. You buy some singles, that's a great approach uh, to the set. And on a final note, you can get all three of these cards for around 160 bucks. Do I think that the prices for these cards are going to drop? Absolutely. I think that uh, I think that we're not gonna see a price hike on these cards anytime soon. Maybe 10, 15, 20 years down the line, but yeah, the art's just not that great on these Charizards and the set isn't that strong and what usually keeps the prices high for cars is that they're uh, playable they're playable in the TCG 
And we do have a Charizard EX in this set and it's going for around, I think 25 bucks. That card I think is gonna stay around that, uh, that $25 mark simply because it's playable. So that's going to be the video, everybody. Thanks for checking this one out with me. Let me know if you guys are passing or picking up Obsidian Flames. Also, let me know if you like these style of videos. Let me know what sets I should do next. Let me know anything in the comment section down below again. And until next time, peace.